Welcome back YouTube, this is How to Play Aethergazer with Veilside, and this is our next video in the series of Building the Best Teams. I hope these videos have been helpful for you, and as you continue through the series, I hope you become an AG Pro as I know you can be. Let's jump into the next one, shall we? The second category for building the teams comes down to your pet choice uh, or your Mimir cat. Uh, the first cat that you get is this pink cat here called Mimtastic. And so um, when you look at this, it actually restores the health of modifiers to their full HP when they take fatal damage, but it decreases their damage and their healing effects by 10% for the rest of the battle when this effect is triggered, right? But And that effect stacks up to five times. So that means if you're not really good at dodging and the content is just too hard and it keeps killing you, this cat is really perfect for you to, to learn how to dodge better. <laughs> um, but it it's also kind of limiting you as well because if you get hit a lot, you're going to be taking 50% um, less healing effect and you're going to be dealing 50% less damage, right? But this cat still is useful, even to me, to today. Like, I still use it when I'm in a desperate situation and I don't want to keep dying, especially when it comes to the difficulty of hazard zone cleaning. Um, and usually what I will pair with it, so you get a cat and then you get these little meow chips, right? And you can add two chips onto the cat every time you take it out in battle. Usually I will pair these together. Um, so first is Rift Surge. Extends other allied modifiers and invincibility during the duration of it by one second after they successfully break ball or dodge. So let's say you have the huge centaur-like Kusherfang boss swinging at you and you can see his red circle on the ground and it's about to hit you. The red circle is filling up to the perimeter and you miss when it hits the perimeter, so you don't get the zero time dodge, right? But you do dodge like a split second right after. So all of a sudden your character will disappear, you'll hear a sword clash sound, and then you'll reappear and you'll be missed, right? Or maybe Kusher Fang will actually hit you just towards the end of his attack so you won't take as much damage. That is the invincibility breakfall. That's what breakfall is, right? But this is saying that this chip, it adds your invincibility during that breakfall state or your dodge an extra one second. So it's now a split second plus an extra one second. So with this chip on there, Kusher Fang, even if you technically did get hit towards the end of his swing, it wouldn't deduct your damage because you were invincible for a an additional duration of one second okay so that's pretty good that that's a really good defensive chip to add on to this cat who's already healing you um, the second one I like to use is also called emergency rescue where it says um, the modifiers consume 2.5 times the dodge energy to take 50% less damage when they're hit and this effect triggers once uh, every 30 seconds. Still, even if it's every 30 seconds, it's really good because you're taking 50% less damage. So you're not only getting heals from the pink cat, you're taking 50% less damage. So it's it's a good it's a good option. But when it comes to you know these Mimir cats, I don't typically roll with that one. I will usually go with this Meninja or uh, this Meow. When it comes to the Meninja, um, this is probably the, the my favorite one because when you're modifying level, which is at the top left of your screen over here whenever you're fighting, right? When it's up to Omega, it increases the crit rates of your, your teammates by 10% and it increases the ultimate skill charge 
by 1% whenever their attacks crit. So on this team, well, with Buzumbo and uh, S. Tsukiyomi and even A. Rathondi, right? Um, they have a lot of crit. These, these ninja girls especially have a lot of crit and that means they're working together with this cat. So their, their ultimate skill charge is being charged up even more as their attacks crit. Which is really cool. When it comes to the chips that I like to put on this cat, it's uh, Battlefield Dominance for sure increases other increases the modifier's attack by 5% for every enemy on the field up to a maximum of 20%. So I use this when there's a lot of trash mobs to clear, like AGI mechas and whatever. You know, there's like 10 or 20 monsters on the screen that you need to kill, um, and there's usually like two or three waves of them. So that's really good. Uh, but sometimes it's not the best because you'll you will have to fight the boss. So then I'll usually switch it to Shadow Hunter, which is another offensive chip, because it's red. And it extends the modifier's zero time duration by one second. Um, as you get better in this game, you'll start to you know, dodge in the best ways. You'll start to dodge perfectly. And you'll trigger zero time all the time. And so it's extending your zero time by one second which is allowing you to do more damage since you do more damage in zero time and that also works together with this one marginal benefit which increases the modifiers damage by 15 percent when they are in zero time or modified mode which is huge because you're going to be triggering zero time all the time and modified mode you know sometimes right uh often but not as often as zero time so these are really helping you do more damage. That's usually what I would like to do. Um, also, just as an added bonus, you can actually save these in this little current plan area, right? So you just type in a name. You can't use spaces. So max damage in zero time and modified mode. There you go. And then we have crit and modified mode zero time. So yeah, you can save those so you don't have to keep choosing them every single time. Congratulations, you've now made it through part two of our series of building the best teams. Now that you've seen how to use a Mimir Cat and the additional chips, let's jump into part three. We'll see you then. Peace.